Brett Allen here. Thanks for watching and listening. Today we are talking Walker Independence. I this is crazy. Uh, we have one of the stars, Katie Finley. I I was gonna put up a backdrop of Jim and the holograms, but I figured that was a little bit <laughs> a little too old. But uh, we can throw it up there if you want at the end. <laughs> Thanks for your Dude, time. It is never too old to be a misfit. That was one of the better things that's ever happened to me brief though it may have been <laughs> that's funny yeah we could talk about that at the end because that was a wild sure. sort of like hollywood adventure after people no for decades uh, were waiting for it but let's talk walker independence um i've seen a couple of the episodes and uh one of the things that i find interesting about this outing for a show is and please correct me if i'm wrong for what i understand sure. you all had filmed like at least the pilot but weren't really even sure if this was going to go right. Like it was kind of unknown um, when it was going to go or if it was going to go, is that correct? Or am I misunderstanding that? Uh, yeah, I think that's the case for a lot of shows, unless you're a straight to series show. I think that, you know, you, often you shoot a pilot and then you don't know if it's going to go anywhere and you just kind of have to wait on it for a couple months or sometimes with the way development works, you can wait for more than a couple months. But, uh, but so, yeah, no, that, that was definitely the case for us. How does it feel now for it to be out and for people to watch it? Because this, I mean, to have this story told in such a different way, um, and we're used to the Walker, Texas Ranger, but to have it mm. reversed, uh, it's such a great show. I mean, it has to just feel amazing. It does. It's pretty spectacular. I think we have a really, um, we have a really special family of people, which is, um, quite a profound gift in an industry that sort of pulls people apart and sticks them in different places and works them 15 hours a day. Going to work with people you love is, is pretty amazing. So, uh, Oh, it feels good. It's nice. It's exciting yeah, that other people you, get to see you, it now too. <laughs> yeah. Well, you all do such a good job. So if you could just let our listeners and viewers in on what the show is about, cause I feel you would probably do a much better job of explaining it because it's so good. Well, good. I'm glad. I, I never assume that I will do a better job of explaining anything. Uh, I don't know what they told you about me, but they lied. Um, so Walker Independence is about uh, originally Abby Collins renamed, self-renamed, which I love, uh, Abby Walker. She uh, is moving west with her husband in search of a uh, new life and different opportunities uh, from Boston. And she is struck with a an unimaginable tragedy and uh, a bucket load of grief, probably about five minutes into the pilot. And the only thing that she knows about her new life is that her husband is meant to be the sheriff of a small town, very off the beaten path in Texas called independence. And so um, with the help of a native American tribe, native American community that is nearby that just fully saves her butt um, she makes her way to independence and settles there. And the show is about all of the people that lived there and how they came to be there, why they're together in community the way that they are. And um, just a whole bunch of super intense Western. Am I allowed to swear on this? <laughs> yeah, you're fine. You're, you're okay. Super intense Western shit that happens <laughs> when people are out in the elements with each other and have to deal with all of the scary and amazing stuff that happened back then in a very contentious time. Yeah, it's just, I mean, I tell you, with so much content to consume, and there's been a lot of Westerns that have been out, TV shows, I, I really do mean this. I feel like you guys have literally struck gold with such a good story, because it's just, it's emotive, the scenery, everything about it is so fascinating. You know, you've been a part of so many different projects, but what was it that sort of attracted you uh, to, to Independence and made you kind of decide this was something you're interested in? Uh, I think that, first of all, I've said this before and I'll say it again. My process of joining this show was deeply respectful and tender. Um, our showrunner, Seamus Fahey, reached out and uh, Larry Tang, who is one of our executive uh, producers and directed the absolute hell out of a bunch of episodes this season and Anna Fricky. And um, there, there was just such care and enthusiasm put into conversations about who was going to be on this show and why and why they needed to be here um and you know i was concerned about a lot of things that uh, i think most people in 2022 would be concerned about in terms of joining a western because westerns 
primarily and on purpose to reshape the American narrative were white, male, yeah. cis, you know, and, and violent. Uh, and so I think that once I got to the pilot and had conversations with every single person that had chosen to sort of come on this ride, they said similar things where they said, um, you know, uh, for instance, Lawrence uh, Cow said he had a conversation with Larry, who's who's also Chinese, and they were talking about how, you know, cartoons of Chinese workers and citizens uh, during the turn of the century made them look like demons. It was insane yeah. and damaging. And to look at a Western and go, not only is this guy here and visible because the West was deeply multicultural and multifaceted that way, um, he's a badass. And he contributed more to the the roots of what people think of as the American frontier, the Western frontier, than any random cowboy dude ever did. Yeah. And the ability to be part of, if, you know, imperfect at times, um, a narrative that seeks to pull all of these people in and let them do the damn thing for a change. Yeah. Um, was really attractive to me. And it, it seemed like a, a a hopeful prospect for showing the world more and more the way that it really is, because I think that it's always been called for and like never more than now. <laughs> yeah, I agree a hundred percent. And I think it, it does a great job of all of that encompassing and it's a good show and it's great. You know what I mean? So like to have, I'm the... glad you think so. <laughs> well, and I really do mean that. Like, I don't know. I just, I'm a fan of Westerns in general. And I, I agree with your statement about, historically and traditionally what those can be about you know what i mean but you 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 all approach it in a way that's with care and and, and delicacy as you say and it's it's just fun you know what i mean i really am excited um i do want to switch gears a bit here and talk about because you have been a part of some really fun projects so uh -huh. it makes me curious um where where the journey started for you as a storyteller like what sparked your interest um, well, I was, uh, I always feel bad about this question because I just really don't have the most interesting answer. I was a, a, a deeply mentally ill teenager. Um, I, I just despair and depression followed me around constantly. I think a lot of people can relate to that, but I didn't know what it was at the time. I was unmedicated. I was, you know, kind of white knuckling growing up. And uh, I had a, a theater teacher who saw that I loved it and that I was comfortable and that I was exploring things through my work and that I was serious about it and possibly that I, that I really needed it. And he called my mom and he said, listen, like, what's her home life? Like, does she, does she have a, a safe place to go back to if I like work her a little harder and pick on her and call her on stuff? And if this is a little bit of a difficult ego death, would you say that this environment is safe? And she was like, yeah, absolutely. And he, he really did teach me how to be a person. Um, he gave me realistic expectations. He taught me how to love what I do. He taught me how to show up to this kind of work, you know, vulnerably and with respect for the other people that you're working with and not about you and how, how hard you can cry or <laughs> how much crazy shit you can do on stage and have people pay attention to you. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I always thought I'd be in theater. I went to a film acting class with a friend of mine who didn't want to go alone. And then I got an agent and I, uh, kind of got addicted to the roundabout of it and it led me on some pretty some pretty bananas adventures yeah i find that answer very deeply fascinating I, that's part oh, of the good. reason why i do this is because <laughs> I, I i always find everybody's journey is so different um fantastic walker independence is streaming now on the cw please check it out jim and the holograms we joked about it off tape <laughs> um I, what led you to that project because that what i mean the fact that they i mean there were the cartoons and all of that and then a live mm -hmm. action film comes about and i think a very specific generation uh lost their mind when they found out yeah. that you guys were going to tackle uh this story that nobody had ever uh tackled before <laughs> yeah i uh i the funny part is that i was fan cast i'm i'm, I'm a bit of an internet troll um, so I was lurking somewhere and someone sent me that I'd been fan cast, uh, as Stormer in, you know, one of the millions of fan cast things. And I was I like, oh, yeah, I guess I kind of do look like that. And, uh, 
And then I think for the audition, the whole the whole situation was pretty separate from the movie because uh, if you do or don't know, we were the teaser trailer. The Misfits were the teaser trailer yeah, at the end. Yeah, I of remember Gem. very clearly. Yes. <laughs> um. So I can't really speak to the the whole phenomenon of the of the film itself, but um, I got to chill with the coolest people, and I still have that band that we could have been in my dreams all the time. I love it. it was a total blast. It makes me so happy that I'm on her wiki page now, or maybe I'm not anymore, but like, you know, that, that I hold a little piece of her. Um, and then bizarrely never met Aubrey Peebles during the filming at all, worked on something somewhere else. And she is now one of my favorite people on the planet and one of my dearest friends. So that is a nice little happenstance that came out of that whole thing. I love it. Well, thank you so yeah. much, uh, Katie. It's been a pleasure chatting with you. Uh, congratulations on all your success and uh, thank you so much. Can't wait to see where the show goes. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you too. Nice to meet you. You too.